from the new home of the Atlanta Braves. MLB Network welcomes you to SunTrust Park. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Washington Nationals and the Atlanta Braves. The Braves have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Clayton Kershaw, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. When you think about the Cy Young Award, he's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. First offering on its way. And we are underway from SunTrust Park as the first pitch of the afternoon misses taken for ball one. Guys, one of D-Rose former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in after another good win last time out that ran their record to start the season to a perfect 5-0. and Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. And that'll manage to hop over the wall. He'll be at second to start the game on a ground rule double. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than he can. Hit the ball where it's pitched. And he does a great job right there as he pushes it down the line nicely. And it bounces over for a ground rule double. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw, he's just one for six. I uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. You know, Kenny Jansen, Dero, he's kind of hard to figure out. Doesn't give a lot on the edges. He'll make you bring the ball into that plate. Yeah, Dan, Kenny Jansen is definitely consistent, and he'll reward pitchers around the knees. But on the edges right there, sometimes it's hit or miss. And there's ball two now. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. From the stretch. Three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Three one a little bouncer working for the punch out and the offering and another foul ball. Set. Here's the three and two. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Well, when you go with the slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. And now for Washington, Daniel Murphy. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1 0. Seeger over at second. Abreu at first with no outs. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone.
Here it comes, 2-0. Oh. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. From the stretch. There's a strike as he gets this one over. It's 3-1 and one now. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. The 3-1 finds the zone to fill the count, 3-2. and two. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. First and second here with nobody out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Three, two, one more time. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Three-run home run down the line in right. Second home run early in the year. As the Nats move out in front now, three to nothing. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smelled blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. Here's big Aaron Judge. He went deep in the contest last night. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Here's a first pitch chop foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. Three runs already home here. Hey. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Hey, I love the location right there. Maybe that extra base hit was a big wake-up call to get it going. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy, talk about a rough start to an inning. A three-run bomb and then a base hit. This could get real ugly, Hero. Yeah, you can tell, Dan. He's going to have to execute a little bit better than that. They were sitting in that hitter's meeting, and they were ready. They're keeping their front shoulders in, looking for something up, out, over, and they are not missing Riding in now for the Nats, Josh Donaldson. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Donaldson. A six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2018. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. third and they could get two. Altuve for one. On to first and Donaldson's gone as well. It's a double play. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Matt, I can't wait to see what Aaron Judge has in store. He won the home run derby last year. And if you're worried about his power, all you have to do is go back and look at that video. 
he put on a display, so we know he has monster power. I just hope he runs into one today. Set to get his day started, Buster Posey. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work and unless he dials it in it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Bases are empty here with two men out. Only two the counts of Posey. You know that nasty change ups lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation or that changeup's going to beat me. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the Nationals strike for three, all coming via this three-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up, it's 3-0 Washington. Max Scherzer gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy pitched well in his last one, getting through seven innings in his last start. We'll see if he can turn in another quality start and pick up the win in this one also. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the break, the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Pitch on the way. Hey. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Fellas, the Nationals, as they take the field here today, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Matty, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able, those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. Grounded to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't even in the zone. He was able to fight it off for a base hit. Here's Ender Inciarte as he'll take a look at ball one. Past battles with Scherzer, he has seven hits in 30 at-bats. Advantage count 2-0 to the brave center fielder. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Here's the 2-0. Oh. Hey. The changeup that catches the corner for strike one. Scherzer, 33 years old. He was taken in the sixth round during the first-year player draft of 2018. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become. But he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle round. Runner back safely. The 2-1 home. On the ground to the right side. And that's through for a hit. D-Roll, this is the kind of guy, he doesn't really scare you as a pitcher because he's not a home run hitter, but somehow, some way, he always seems to get the barrel to the baseball. Yeah, he's going to make you earn it, Dan, no doubt about it. He stays within himself. He doesn't try and do too much. One of those quality, quality guys that walks through the clubhouse door every day, you know exactly what you're getting. He 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground to short. And that's through. A base hit. Bogarts rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag, and he's safe as it's now a two-run game. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dio, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready with the 0-1. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Hey, newsflash, guess where the next pitch is going after that ugly swing? I guarantee you he tries to get him to reach again. Yeah. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. 0-2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. One, two. Misses for the second ball. The two, two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. This guy hit over 340 last year. An incredible season. I watched him one day take a ball to left field, then he took one to right field, then he took one back up the middle. He puts together so many hits and has such a great swing that there's no wonder he hits over 340. Stepping in for the Braves, Travis Shaw. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a knee-high fastball. In Ciarte on second, Altuve is over at first with one away. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. one stayed too low apparently a lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch got himself ahead in the count now gets the sign here comes the 2-1 he's fallen behind now three and one you fight so hard to get into these type of counts you can't let this pitch get away from you you have to keyhole something middle of the plate There's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Now the three and two pitch gets him looking up around the letters. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Into the box now, Domingo Santana, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he fouls this one off.
That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Two down, runners at first and second. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. So now two men in scoring position. Scherzer comes set. Here's the two and two. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Manny Machado now. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Change up in for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. And a breaking ball stays outside. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch, work the count even. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2-1. It's a fastball that misses. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy an inning and think you're going to have any success. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Espedes. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. Not a lot of success. 0 for 12. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. One ball, one strike, the count. A runner at first with no outs here. And this is low, ball two, two and one. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. Two and one now to Cespedes. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Two things pitchers really love. Called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. Two -two. Just hung in there on that one. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. 
I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Another full count offering on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! It's a two-run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. Second home run early in the year as they stretch the lead to 5-1. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Standing in now, Max Scherzer. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1-0 is taken for ball two. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Corey Seager is on deck. Base is empty here with nobody out. Three and one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. All right, the Atlanta Braves attack you on defense this way. And let's focus our attention on Xander Bogart. Short stop up the shoot. One of the best in the business. One of the smoothest players in the game. We talk a lot about Robinson Cano and how he goes about his business at second base. The X-Man is no different at shortstop, and the bat plays too. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Corey Seager, the recipient of a National League Silver Slugger Award for his contributions at shortstop last year. Hey. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Still only one out in the inning. The next 0 2 is taken. That's ball one. The one two is laid off for ball two. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. The two two is laid off and the count runs full. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. He loses him on ball four. 
Well, Dan, do you agree with the timing of the visit from the pitching coach? Looks like the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one right down Main Street. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. I know he's ahead 0 1, but he's finding the heart of the plate way too often. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A high fastball is in there. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Here's Kershaw's 0 and 2 offering. One ball. That two fastball three. straightens him up a bit. 1 and 2 now. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. One and two, here it comes. Struck him out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's Daniel Murphy now as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. In the last at bat Matty D we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Nope. And he misses with it one and one. One and one. One one on its way to Murphy missed with a slider. It's one thing to get hit around but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Smoke the other way high and deep to left Upton going back to the track but he can't get it as it's off the wall they'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first that is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup when you get your three four and five hitters producing this early in the season it can be contagious and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute digging in for his second at bat Aaron Judge he singled his last time up First pitch of the at bat on its way fouled off. The 0 and 1 delivery takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Hey, I don't know if he wasn't looking for it or just got fooled a little bit right there, but that was actually a decent slider to do some damage with. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. No. In under the hands with a fastball, it's 1 and 2. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. 
throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. And a <laughs> neck-high fastball that time. Here now the 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Nationals six and the Braves one. Here's Justin Upton now. Past Leading battles with Bryant. Scherzer. Just a one for nine. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Strike one to start the at bat. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. Upton awaits the 1-2. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Here now the 2 2 is a wave and a miss he struck him out. So here's how the Washington Nationals are positioned defensively. And let's focus our attention on first baseman Jose Abreu. We know the bat plays the ability to drive the ball out opposite field no problem. But I don't think people realize how soft this guy's hands are at first base constantly bailing his other infielders out. Here now is Mike Zanino. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. A fastball down near the shoe tops. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. One and one, here it comes. Zero. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. The one two is a Three. called third strike down in the zone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight Edward. punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. In now, Clayton Kershaw. And Aye. she'll take a change up here for strike one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Scherzer into the windup. Coming at him with the 0 and 1. And a fastball just a bit up. One one home out in front but this is skied into straightaway right judge will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning down in order go the Braves 
The lead remains five. It's six to one. And welcome back to Cobb County, Georgia for baseball on MLB Network. Third inning set to get underway. Digging in to try it again, Josh Donaldson, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And this is fouled with the plate. Now the pitch. Fastball not close and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Now the two one pitch. Takes a pass and misses that strike two. The two two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's Buster Posey now. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Upton going back to the track, to the wall, and it's gone. A solo home run for Buster Posey. First home run of the campaign for him as it's now a six run ball game. Well this goes to show you that nobody is immune from throwing a clunker from time to time. We all know he's a great talent on the mound. But right now, they are just jumping all over him. How about it? Into the box, Manny Machado. Machado. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. Altuve has it. And that's the second out. Ready for another chance. Yoenis Cespedes. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. One and oh, the count. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's two and oh now. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. Two and oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. Two balls and a strike now. The 2 1 home. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Too high. 
ball three. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The payoff pitch one more time. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. Cespedes takes ball four there, and he'll head down to first. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Max Scherzer. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Oh one. Here's the pitch. This is flared out towards second and this will be put away easily for the out. Nationals able to add on thanks to the long ball. We play two and a half. It's the Nationals seven and the Braves one. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the they early going, the so what do they need to do to claw like, back into that? this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. First delivery to him on the way. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. The pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Line drive to center field, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Boy, there's another base hit. This is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving D World both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. Good plan at the plate, a lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Here's Ender Inciarte as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Oh, look at Donaldson. How about that? On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Boy, that was a smooth play, wasn't it? Great job to lay out and make the stop, and then to beat the second from his knees for the out. Pretty impressive display there. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, lifted out towards straightaway center field. There to pull it in is Machado, and that's out number two. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Freddie Freeman, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. That fastball must have a little late life on it. 
because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. A ball and a strike now to the Braves first baseman. Scherzer comes set. Here's the one and one. Sharp ground ball to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knots will help you sleep better at night, Dan. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. First time up, he went down looking. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. The 1-1 one -one home is a nope. sinker that dips below the zone for a ball. The 2-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. In Ciarte at second, Freeman at first, two out in the inning. Swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Two left for Atlanta. They're down seven to one. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak at the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year. Corey Seager settles in to start things out. First pitch on its way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. The wind-up and the 0-1. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. A great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North-south, pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. Popped up. Shaw has a play. One down. The first baseman, number 79, Jose Abreu. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Abreu comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Seven runs, just six hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first to take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Now batter, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. 
digging in and looking for more. Daniel Murphy already a home run and a double for him in this one. It's really been an amazing transition for Daniel Murphy known more as an average type hitter Matt when he was a member of the New York Mets but since he's put on a Nationals uniform boy the power surge has come and it has not stopped. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. Off the plate one ball one strike. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. One and two now. He was able to foul that one off but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball the pitch before that heater right there definitely threw his timing off. Ball, two and two. Still even at two and two. Seven runs, just six hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. Through first and hustling for second. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Now batting. Right fielder, Aaron Judge. Striding in once again, Aaron Judge. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, that's A fastball that just misses inside. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1 0 pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Two out here and a runner at second. And that misses two and one. Well, two one pitch is a fastball off the plate away, and it's three and one now. If you're at the plate right now you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Here comes the three one pitch very weakly on the ground. From the belt kicks and deals Zero. a swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over danger averted following the two out double don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. So coming to the plate Domingo Maybe Santana is over right one point. thus far right fielder. Domingo Santana. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball just a bit high. The 1 0. 
Nope. Mm. 2-0. Oh. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Now the 2 1 is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Stepping in now, Justin Upton. As Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Up in a hole, 0 oh and 2 the count to him. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. And Upton won't chase that one. It's 1 and 2. Those 0 oh 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Here now is Mike Zanino, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Here's the 0 1. There's a strike. Santana, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Two home. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The one and two pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Nationals seven and the Braves one. Pedro Baez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys.
Ready for another shot now. Josh Donaldson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And the changeup is way low that time. A fastball that finds the outside corner. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1 and 2. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. The Braves are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. Not what he had in mind before the day started. Here's Buster Posey now. Career numbers against Baez. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So Whoa, I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field. Now the 2 0 home three and oh now. Well he was definitely looking fastball here and he got one but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Comes with a slider, 3-0, and oh, but gets it over for strike one. The 3-1. And Buster will take ball four. And down to first, heads Posey. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Striding in now for the Nats, Manny Machado. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. And this is off the corner and low. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one. On to Freeman. And they turn the double play to end the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Robinson Cano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 24, Robinson Cano. Called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. Now the pitch. Popped him up. 
Donaldson has room in foul territory and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The shortstop, number two, Sander Bogart. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Xander Bogarts. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Outside oh. with the fastball that's 1 0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. Two down. Center fielder number 11, Ender Inciarte. Digging in once again, Ender Inciarte. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Scherzer is ready. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. I know you're standing on the mound. You got two quick outs right here. But you have to respect the fact that this lineup can hit you and hit you in a hurry. Number two hole batter up at the plate. He has a chance to get on and get the big boys up. That misses 2-0. Two, oh. two out, nobody on. Ball to strike on the inside part of the plate. Two and one. taken outside for a ball they walked him so no one two three inning here they've got themselves a two out base runner whoa you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses his zone by that much I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in here's the second baseman Jose Altuve and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk always considered a big no no of course he's set here it comes and who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Inciarte leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And there's ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, the pitch. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game. And that one ends the inning. Braves strand one. They're down seven to one. Brad Peacock gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here's Juana Cespedes. Head-to-head -head matchups with Brad Peacock. He has a 3-for-12 line. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's under it. And that's the first out of the inning. The pitcher number 31, Max Scherzer. Into the box now, the Nationals pitcher, Max Scherzer. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh. 
And he falls behind 0-2. One out, nobody on. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. Here's the 2-2. And this is swung out and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on 2-2. Two and two. He was heading to count 0-2 earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Here's Corey Seager. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. Slow grounder to first. Freeman charging this one. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They're on top seven to one. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Now here's the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Freeman will head to second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Whoa, right back at him, and it hit him. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Ready once again, Domingo Santana, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around.
He set and the pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Freeman takes his lead at third with one away. Popped him up. There to take it is Abreu, and that's out number two. The left fielder, number eight, Justin Upton. Here's Justin Upton now, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Scherzer comes set. Here he comes 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. That's a ball. And it's one and two. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. One left for Atlanta. They're down seven to one. Back here at SunTrust Park, Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu now. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Inside the fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Here comes the one oh. That slider stayed too low, ball two. Two oh count, the pitch too high, and it's three and oh. Daniel Murphy will be next. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Digging in and looking for more, Daniel Murphy, already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. Here comes the first pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning, but with the middle of the order up at the plate here, I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch to hack at. And 2-0 oh. oh, as this one's taken low. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. This is on the ground over the first. That's through for a base hit, and he's putting together a monster line in this one. They just can't get him out. Damn, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get it triple. Yeah, that's your set it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, Maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. From the stretch. 
And a slider on the inside for strike one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. None out, runners at first and second. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. High in the air out to center field. In Ciarte's there. One away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The batter number 20, third baseman Josh Donaldson. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. This is the guy they're going to have to be careful with. He could put three runs on the board in a hurry. So expect them to try to get him to chase something out of the zone if they can. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Two balls, no strike. Now the 2 0 home. 3 and 0 now. A former MVP waiting on deck in the form of Buster Posey. There's nope, ball, four. ball four. It was obvious when the count ran to 2-0 and oh that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Striding in once again, Buster Posey. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. The 1-0. There's a slider that backs up for a ball. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Abreu at third. Murphy over at second. Donaldson at first. One gone. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard on the ground at first. One there. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Leading off the inning, Mike Zanino. And they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First offering on its way. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing.
pitch on its way now to Zanino. A fastball down near the shoe tops. The 1 1 home he is in there for the second strike. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The one two. Here's Donaldson down at third. And that's out number one. Now batting. Pitcher. The Red Peacock. Robinson Chirinos will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 61. Robinson Chirinos. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. The 1-0. He has looked at for the first strike. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Scherzer into the windup. 0 1 on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Braves are set down 1 2 3. They're down 7 to 1. Steve Ciszek enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Here's Manny Machado now. The numbers head-to-head -head with Steve Ciszek. He's one for five. Manny Machado. First pitch coming, here it is. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. Nope, and that sinker ball. misses at the shoe tops, ball one. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d roll but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it.
The one two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Chasing after it is Inciarte. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And look there at the starter comparison telling the story of the ball game. One guy still going and pitching well. The other one long since departed for the showers. Digging in once again. Joannis Cespedes. He's one for two in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. A knee high sinker tough pitch strike one. Hey I don't blame this guy right here. I would have took the first pitch myself. Well you got his kneecaps and elbows coming at you. Oh one here's the pitch. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate for him to take those first two pitches right there finds himself 0 2 I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot and here's a pitch inside and that got him well I bet the manager breathed a sigh of relief when he saw he wasn't hurt that badly the last thing they can afford to lose is a guy like that for any length of time Ready once again, Max Scherzer. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say, he's really earned it. Here comes the first pitch. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. There's a look at the inning by inning recap. Seven to one our score as we play the eighth inning of this one. Here's Corey Seeger. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a neck high fastball that time. Cespedes at second with two down. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Jose Abreu would be next if they can keep this inning alive. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Taking all the way, and that's what you call a plausible strike there. It's 3 and 1 now. The 3 and 1 pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two men are on with two men out. Oh. 
Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Ready on 0-2. And, and a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Nationals seven and the Braves one. Here's Ender Inciarte. He leads off their half of the eighth, and Leading they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he Ender. settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2 0. Now the 2 0. It's yeah. a curveball that catches the zone for a strike. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch or he's going to start getting hurt. The 2 1. Flipped out the other way towards short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. He's I'm not sure if this happened or not, but sometimes when you're playing behind a pitcher who's doing all of the work himself, you get caught up a little bit in kind of a trance and you get lulled to sleep out there. Looked like to me he was caught a little off guard when the play came his way. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. On the ground is short. This could be two. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball, so they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Freddie Freeman, he doubled his last time through. First pitch of the at-bat. Ripped on the ground to first. To second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. Ninth inning coming up. Nationals on top, 7-1. to one. Here's Daniel Murphy now. And he's trying to make this a five-hit ball game for himself right here. Daniel Murphy. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing and one hey he caught him off guard right there I like that pitch high fastball executed I know he's known for the sinker ball but if he can get some eye levels up and down he's going to have some success oh and one count and the pitch swinging a ball hit on the ground but this will wind up a foul ball strike two Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. 
Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Down the first baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this is taken in by Upton for the first down. Here's big Aaron Judd. The numbers head to head with Steve Ciszek. He's one for four. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard up the middle. There is Altuve. Pro gets him. Two down. Third baseman number 20. John Donaldson. Here's the third baseman Josh Donaldson. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's awful. Missed with a slider. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. Two out. Nobody on. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nationals gone in order. They're on top seven to one. Carlos Estevez is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. Hard on the ground towards short. And there's his first base hit in this one. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the ninth. Hey, guys, there had to be something in the scouting report right there. For him to be on top of that 0-0 change up the way he was, that was pretty special. Into the box now, Domingo Santana. He grounds it sharply to third. The second for one. Back to first. A ninth inning double play. And they're an out away from closing this one out. And there are the final numbers for the Washington starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Here's Justin Upton now. Three at-bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. First pitch on its way to Upton. Nope. And that one stayed up a little high. Max Scherzer in line for the victory, barring a late collapse here. Nope. 
Nats inside. 2-0. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 2-0. Fouled off. The 2-1. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Final strike for the Braves. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Seven to one the final today. Washington hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Max Scherzer earns the win his second as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Clayton Kershaw was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ballgame this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Seven runs, eight hits, one error. They left nine men on base. For Atlanta, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. The winning pitcher is Max Scherzer. His record is now 2-0. The loss goes to Clayton Kershaw. He falls to one and one. Time of the ball game, three hours and seven minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of SunTrust Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.